Alright, we're back. We just unlocked two of the four um, areas, you know, uh, temples. We got them both. I don't know what that blue marker is, but I'm gonna go and check it out. Is this Barbarossa? Because I know we haven't fought him yet. What on earth could that ship be do- Oh! Did you see- Yes. A strange ship has been appearing in this harbor. It's a decrepit old- Has- no Yeah. That I'm just gonna skip the this. Ship. Still prowling around. Okay. Alright. Off to Yuliana. I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear. And What's up, who Yuyana? might you be? Oh yeah, you don't know us anymore. Forgot. I am Anya's Oblige, vessel of the wind. Ho oh, ho! Little Anya's, is it? My, how you have grown child you were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here now look at you a fine woman you've become <laughs> why the long face if there is anything this feeble old man can do for you name it he hasn't changed a bit sage Agnes's Vestal Garb has become threadbare. Oh, her Vestal Garb, you say? Let me take a closer look. Hmm. Yes, this should be easy to patch up. Sage, do you remember me at all? Hmm? <laughs> yes, I remember you well. This is the third time, after all. But perhaps you might call it the first. Still, I remember you all too well. The third time? What do you... Of course. Let me put it this way. Which world are you from? Oh, he knows. Yes. Of course he knows. He's awesome like that. <sighs> well, you'd better come inside. Now then, I was about to pour some tea for us. Quietly with a hot brew. Sage. Are you aware I was a founder of the organization that became the Duchy of Eternia? Yes. Then you know of Lord De Rosso? We do. And are you familiar with the circumstances that led Lord De Rosso and me to build that organization? No. No? Hmm, I see. But my counterpart in your world has been very lax. He has left me in an awkward position. Still, he is me, so I must shoulder some blame. Not to worry. Well then, Agnes. Uh, 
You must decide who is your most trustworthy ally. Then travel to the nearby cave with them. You will find it to the southwest of here. Once inside, I will tell you all I know. I will also give you your Vestal Guard there. You should understand your situation better once we are done. I shall go on ahead. I would advise you to heed my words. You must bring only one ally with you. Your other company. One ally. Well, it's obvious. Seems the sage bring a deer. But why can only two of us go? know who she has to bring. Who knows what that old man is thinking? Who do you think I should choose? Well, I guess... You have to make your own choice, I guess. Remember the sage's words. You have to decide who you trust most. Do I count as well? I'm going with Anya either way. Wait. I think it should be me. You need a man who knows how to look after a woman. I would die for you, Agnes. <sighs> of course, I would die for you too, Idea. So I play second <laughs> fiddle to her, huh? Whatever. The jealousy of a woman spurned is so endearing. Oh, shut up, <laughs> Ring a Bell. I'm not jealous at all. As uh. calm as ever, I see. It would have been nice to see you blush, at least. What am I to do? Like I said, just make the decision yourself, Agnes. <laughs> uh, what? Nothing. <laughs> Can I see you outside, Tiz? Uh. Huh? Oh, sure. Hey, don't mess up, lover boy. What? Stop giving me a hard time. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> So, uh, what if... Do you remember what I said to you right around the time we met, Tiz? I said I would like you to join me. Uh, yes, I remember. And you have stayed at my side this whole time, through journeys far and wide. So, I think, I would like you to be the one to come with me. Will you do it? I feel the same. Huh? I remember the promise I made. I'll never forget it. Not till my dying day. I've come this far with you. I've stuck with you until now. You will always be a ray of hope to me. Aww. Tiz. So it's beautiful. Uh, I guess no, what no I'm kiss her. trying to say is kiss her. I'd be honored to go with you. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. Tiz. It seems I have come to trust you more than any other since that day. Alright. Um. Where do we have to go? Oh, that way. Tis a shame, Agnes. But Tiz has a kind heart. And I know he will take good care of you. That, I guarantee. Tiz, I am counting on you to escort Agnes with the utmost care. I don't think he needs any advice from you, Ringabel. It's not fair! I thought I 
was your perfect partner, <laughs> Anya. And now you're leaving me behind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After all we've been through. I am sorry, Ari. I hope you can understand. Stop acting like a brat and give them a proper seeing off, Ari. Go on, get going already. We'll be back soon. Take your time. We'll be back. Jeez. They act like we will. So from what I know, the monsters here are the monsters here aren't that great. So I'm I am gonna keep this thing off, um, just for this, for for the majority of this. Well, for the whole pretty much investment cave. So I don't see the point. Anyway, let's go. Save it. Boom. Let's go. Hey, you're here. There you are. Ah, so this is the one you have chosen. I envy him. You make a fine pair. Were I a thousand eight hundred and eighty years younger, I would gladly have taken your hand in his stead, Anya. A thousand eight hundred and eighty. Old as hell. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, beside that, please tell what you know. Yes, that is why we have come to you, Sage. Do you understand what I meant when I said it was the first time we had met? <laughs> you are not originally of this world. That is why we meet for the first time. Yes. Sage, earlier you said this may be the third time we have come in contact. What did you mean by that? Your only memory of me is when you were brought here by the previous Vestal. Correct, Agnes? That's right. I came with the Mother Vestal in Olivia when I was but a young girl. However, I have met another who looked exactly as you do now. What? It was a very long time ago. More than 1,800 years, in fact. 1,800 years? Just how old are you, Sage? Me? I have lived almost 1900 years. 1900 years? No cause for surprise. Lord De Rosso is 500 years my senior. 
We were once mortal enemies, he and I. I was High Inquisitor of the Crystal Orthodoxy. He was an immortal who led those seeking to thwart us. We crossed swords on the field of battle dozens of times. In our final battle, the fighting went on for over a hundred days. A true struggle to the death. With both forces decimated, the two of us met in combat, each determined to land the killing blow or die trying. At that moment, an angel appeared before us. This wounded angel was a beautiful young woman who looked exactly like you, Hothead. Both Lord De Rosso and I were mesmerized, and before we knew it, we cast our swords aside and went to her aid. She had lost her light, and her wings were broken and severed. We knew she was beyond saving. We were only with the angel a short time. Oh my god, so the angel is on was someone that looked like Agnes? lives in centuries. It seemed little more than an instant now, but this moment changed both of our lives dramatically. With the last of her fading strength, she spoke to us of the crystal secrets and of their dangers. Dangers? I was a man of the cloth. And Lord De Rosso was one who opposed my religion. The truths we learned that day shook the very foundations of all we had both believed in. What did the angel tell you? The crystals have existed since well before both the Orthodoxy and the Old Faith. The Vestals do not draw the favor of the Crystals by right. This title was merely given by those of the faith to ones who have this gift. Originally, it was thought that mankind should not come in contact with the Crystals. Attitudes towards the Crystals only changed among the people after the teachings of Crystallism spread. What do you mean that we should not come in contact with them? Unleashing the power of the crystals without due care can destroy the borders, opening the door to the harrowing. There have been warnings about this since before recorded history. The angel confirmed there was truth to these warnings. What is this harrowing? I have spent the last 1,800 years trying to find out, but as yet, I am still in the dark. The true nature wow. of the harrowing is shrouded in mystery. Is the great chasm that opened in Caldisla not the harrowing? The great chasm is merely an omen of it. It was one of the events the angel spoke of. I cannot say if the harrowing results from the great chasm opening up, drawing in darkness, then spewing it forth, or it may point to the tainting of the seas, the wind stopping, the volcanoes erupting. In a previous world, we awakened the four crystals and calmed the fury of nature. Then we summoned the holy pillar to close the great chasm. Hmm. You may have acted in the belief that what you did would help. However... However? The path you have taken to this point aligns perfectly with the path to the harrowing prophesied by the angel. The path to the harrowing? Do you plan to awaken the crystals again? If so, you would do well to heed what I have said. Always question how the actions you take will affect the world around you. We will.
Thank you for hearing me out. It is a remarkable resemblance, Agnes. You and the angel. Speaking with you has brought the memories of 1800 years ago back as vividly as if they were yesterday. Sage. <laughs> At this rate, I shall be compelled to clasp you to my breast and plant a kiss upon your lips. I shall now set forth on a journey. You have filled me with the passion of youth for the first time in many years. Why do you look upon me with such a piteous <laughs> gaze? I may have lived 1900 years, but I am not ready to lay down and die yet. You two youngsters should go back to your friends. Here. Thank you, Thanks. Sage. Of mm. Okay. What do you think of the Sage's story, Tiz? To be honest, I'm even more confused than before. I have to agree. I get the feeling he has not told us the full story. But why would he leave us in the dark? He either did so for good reason, or because there was something he was unwilling to share. <sighs> either way, he sure is an old ledge, huh? You are not wrong there. Anyway, let's go meet up with the others. Sorry for the wait. That old fart hasn't filled your head with strange thoughts, has he, Anyas? No need to worry, Aerie. Anyas had Tiz to look after her, after all. Yeah. <laughs> you two are quite the pair. I envy you. That's what the sage said. Did he now? I am not surprised. <laughs> he and I did have a few things in common, to be sure. That's enough out of you, Rick. I had me ring a bell. I mean, damn. You, do you not see a deer? Jeez. That's just a beauty, beauty, beauty. I guess it's cool if you like the sweet, innocent type. Look what we have here. Ring a bell must have dozed off. Here? I wonder why. I don't much care for but with the spiritism job command. Support ability magic critical gloom and mem attack ten percent up. Adrenaline might also come in hand in the brave eight times and fairy's aid followed by black pain brave ones the rage followed by minus strike. Self restore would definitely be a good one. The council's six combined strength, nothing to fear, wouldn't you agree, Vic? Heh <laughs> what a bunch of gibberish. Wake up already, Ringabell. You'll catch a cold sleeping there. Something the matter? Perhaps we ought to let him sleep. Look, Tiz, Ringabell is... he... he's crying. What? Huh. Alright, well, that was a nice little chapter part thing about Bauer. I'm gonna end out there on the next part. We take down the next uh, crystal, hopefully.
Así que...